Hi, I'm John Kennedy from Kennedy Cycle Fit. In this video, I'm going to describe how I measure a bicycle. Um, you have different types of bicycles uh, in classic frame, semi-compact and full compact. This particular bike is semi-compact, so the top bar drops down 40 millimetres. A classic frame, that would be horizontal, so that tube would be up here. And a full compact bike, this tube would somewhat come down anything up to probably 100 millimetres. To measure a bike properly, you always measure the top tube first. So you measure from the centre of this head tube, so the, where the two points dissect, you, you get a mark exactly to the centre of the tube. So where the centre line through that tube and the centre line through that tube, that is your base point. You put a dot there and from that dot you will measure back horizontal. You don't measure downhill on a compact bike, you always measure horizontal across to the seat tube, seat post, and this bike is 55 and a half centimetres. To, once you measure across horizontal, you'll put a dot here, what's, what is horizontal with a spirit level, and from that point then you can measure centre to centre to the dot, and you can then work out theoretically what a seat tube would be if it was classic frame, which this bike, if it was, would be a 54 centre to centre. So this bike is 54 centre to centre by 55 and a half in real language. In compact language, it's 56 top bar uh, at say 21 inch, if you want to talk inches, or in compact, it's a 52 and a half. The head tube dictates the size of the frame. This head tube is 168, which is roughly the right size for a bike that's 54, 55 centimetres in height. From there you have a stem length. To measure a stem, you measure centre to centre. So you measure across the bolts there, the centre, across diagonally through the centre of there. This stem is 100 millimetres. From there, you measure a bar centre to centre at where you put your hands. This bar here is 42 centimetres. They all vary. Someone my size would probably ride a 44 bar. Uh, the average girl might only ride 39, 40, but then you've got to take into consideration the size of the drop and the size of the throw. Most people just think they are 42 bars, a 42 bar, it's not. There's all different types of drops. Some drops are really big, some drops are really small. Most people don't have a hand like that. Um, little petite hands can't reach brake levers if the drop's too big. From there, then we can work out the crank length and the crank length uh, they vary from 165 to 180. You can actually get custom shorter and custom longer. The most critical thing on a bike for me is the angle of the seat bar. Most people wouldn't know how to measure that, but the angle of the bar is in degrees, and the degrees generally, most bikes, the average production bike is sort of 73 degrees and steeper. Uh, but I feel sometimes that's too steep um, for the average person. And the angle can only be determined if you have an angle find a gauge or you know how to do trigonometry where you measure a straight line down through the bottom bracket and measure back how many millimetres there by the length of the seat tube. The seat angle on a bike is critical. The seat angle on a bike is dictated by your thigh length, gluteal mass and foot size. Dictates how you sit on a seat and turn the pedals 360 degrees. Most people never get this right. That affects the balance of the bike. 